Yeah, we made it. We made it. I really wasn't sure because I'm about out of every ounce of stamina that I can possibly possess. Also, what are these? Potion cleanse potion. Er, uh, like, wait, potion cleanse potion. Oh my gosh. I meant poison cleanse potion. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Remove all poison from a spirit. Now that is extremely useful. And I was so distracted by that, I didn't see what we just got for the crafting. Are you kidding? I can't believe I just... Oh, whatever. All right. Well, welcome back, everyone, to our adventures here in Moonstone Island, where I'm about to get the Zappadoo again. However, it is after sunset, so we're going to run around... And we're going to do a quick search for the Moonstone. Unfortunately, uh, here on this brand new island that I have not yet named, have we managed to run the whole thing? We have. It kind of looks like a little leaf, doesn't it? So we have Zap Tree. What if we call this Zap Leaf Island? That actually sounds kind of adorable. But Zap Leaf Island is actually located to the south of Moonstone Island, and we can get to it very quickly via none other than a wonderfully mysterious teleportation pillar. That as I began describing it, it just occurs to me, ah, wait, where did that come from? Like, <laughs> perhaps I should be a little more cautious uh, because, you know, Ow! Oh no, I'm actually getting kind of low on energy. Do I have anything else that would up my energy? Where's the moonstone though? Ah, having it glow for me is a little difficult when everything, when everything is like this. Come on, moonstone, moonstone, ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to find something that restores my stamina. <gasps> I can eat lily pads, very helpful. I can eat cat- what? I could be eating cattails the whole time. You mean I could just have been eating cattails and not even having to worry about going ahead and like refilling all of those 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 stone fruit that I was uh growing? Where is my moonstone? I'm about to like cut down all of the trees here just out of the 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 like moonstone dacity of all of this. Oh my word. Alright, let me see. Alright. Charge, little broom, charge! Oh, oh wow, I think actually our charge goes a lot slower when we are so worn out. Uh, oh wait, can't fly here. <laughs> no, I was just watching. <laughs> I was just watching the lightning charge up to zap us. That's so funny. Ah, oh, oh well, at least we have managed to make it to another island. A poison island, it seems. But it is a new land that I... I'm afraid we might run into a bunch of spirits at. However, for now, I can at least try to zigzag through the darkness, putting my, ooh, 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 plant, plant, stop everything, hold everything. It's a new, ooh, a nightshade. And we did end up with the three different seeds. So that's a good boost to some of our skills now. And nightshades reduce the vitality of a spirit, best used on enemies. That makes sense. Like, I want to take good care of my spirits. <gasps> moonstone, moonstone, moonstone! Ah, that's better. Yeah, I wish we could find the other moonstone uh, on the other island. But what are you going to do? Just try to run away from any of the aggressive spirits while you zigzag across a toxic island. Yes, that's what you're going to do. Oddly specific, I know. But it's good to have clarity over your goals. Okay, let's... Ah! Ah! Okay, I forgot that also- Oh, I got some money from that. Uh, I forgot that that's also going to end up using up a lot of my energy. I should probably turn around in a second and- <gasps> Ooh, what are you? Okay, that's the mandrake, and I'm pretty sure we have mandrake roots already. So I'm gonna pick these. Okay, and it's one in the morning. I am surrounded by toxins on all sides. We have a brand new island that we have ex- Oh, this is huge. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back here and do some exploring because there's probably so many plants here. Uh, but that's gonna have to wait until after uh, I pass out in the village, apparently. Well, no one can say we didn't give it like our utmost today because I feel like that was quite a bit of effort and it did pay off in having at least one more moonstone. I And we also tamed two more spirits. I was just mentally referencing that. 
And we did end up taming two more of sea bees. Electric bee spirits. <gasps> we made it. Oh, you have no idea how intensely I was focusing, zigging and zagging between the trees, mildly potentially thinking, oh, maybe it's a good thing that we have actually cleared away all of these uh, trees because I can get to my house in time that I don't pass out on the ground. But you never heard me say anything like that that could indicate that maybe chaotic greenery isn't always the best option because it is. Yeah. All right. Well, now that that has been accomplished, let's go ahead and store this little moonstone away. And now we only have four more that we need to gather up before we can go ahead and actually get enough of the ingots to make a greenhouse. Or, you know, we could potentially make a glider. But I really have to think about that because I very deeply, very badly want to have a greenhouse. And to be fair, it is getting to be the end of the seed sin. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to just keep doing that. And that does... Ooh, power of a spirit. Nice. That's a good boost. Maybe I'll keep those up there. Uh, but it is getting to be the end of the season. And that means that it would be hard to grow all of these things. Like the nightshade, eight days to harvest is the end of the season. I don't know if it's going to be like 100% ready to harvest by then. Also, I don't have enough wood. <laughs> <laughs> to make more spirit stalls. That's one, one of the other things I was going to work on. Oh, phooey. Okay, well. Away we go. Also, Clover, you're so cute. My little baby guinea pig squeaking at me. But, little man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the thing. I'm trying to do the thing. Oh, that's going to be really hard to focus, but I'm going to do my best. But all right. Let's go ahead and check in on our spirits, gather up some of the ingots. We're kind of finally f discovering sort of that flow that you start falling into when you've made a place your own. I'm going to be honest though, I said that and I kind of feel like this isn't, this isn't my place yet. No, this isn't quite what I think of when I think of a home because it doesn't have enough plants. It, it, it has just this touch of, of industry with all of these furnaces about. I'm really regretting getting rid of the mine, actually, because I think it would have been kind of fun to keep the furnaces in the mine. <gasps> but maybe I can work on a basement that way! Okay, now I have like a lot of motivation to make a basement. <laughs> so that that way I can actually, uh, you know, have this place look a little nicer. Let's see. I'll leave a hundred of the stone here. And... Let's grab the fiber that wonderful apple seed has helped us collect and say hi. Oh, what is this? Dream drop crystallized psychic energy. Like, hold, 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 hold. That's, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think we only have three psychic spirits, but suddenly I have just like goosebumps of excitement. Oh. I wish that we could go ahead and get more. Also, let's see. I think I can feed them extra food. Yay, I can! And when we do that, it actually makes them really happy. And we also need to put food down into their little stalls. Hey, other wormer. I wonder if Appleseed would like to do a little like grand tour with a whole bunch of wormers on one island. We could do that one day when we're just like stocking up on fiber. That would be really cute. All right, little one, let me go ahead and give you maybe a lily pad and another cattail. I don't tend to use those often. Also, we have a nest and a stall ready for an egg, but we'll have to see if we'll ever be able to stumble upon a spirit egg as I have absolutely no idea how to obtain them just yet. Ah, <sighs> that's all right. And actually, I think I need to hold on to this dream drop because I don't think that Zed is at work on... The weekend. Isn't that odd? I'm tilting my little head trying to understand the concept. Because uh, is not curiosity a daily thing? Is not research into the wonders of the world something that we live and breathe every day? That's at least my opinion. But then also my husband Chips is very, very firm about this weak end thing. Uh, but all right. So now what? If everybody's busy, 
Oh yeah, Paula wants to go ahead and have a spirit with Oak in his name. Why don't we why don't we do that? Why don't we work on the matchmaking while also in a very um now I feel a little bad because I'm I'm I was gonna say we could work at the matchmaking while we go ahead and go chop down trees on Bolt Island. But Oakley is like a giant tree. So, and I'm just like strolling up to the top of my island with a giant axe in my hands that I've upgraded. I feel like I'm coming across as quite the threat to him. But, gathering more wood so we can have more spirit stalls so that we can go ahead and add more of our new friends into the barn. That, also, I kind of need wood for everything now that I'm thinking about it. That is a worthwhile goal. And maybe we can explore from this island too. All right, let's see. Okay, I don't want to fight you, dude. I'm I'm just never in the mood to go ahead and fight the the scarecrow guy. I mean, I guess I could fight him if I had to, but I prefer just not to even acknowledge his existence so that I can lessen the odds of my nightmares. Okay, no Oakley friend over here at the moment. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Okay, back off. But there are a few other earth type spirits. We have majority earth type at the moment, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you scared my guinea pig, magic man. I am not going to forgive you for that. Jeez. Yeah, hi. I wish I knew why you showed up when you do, dude, but bloop. 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 I am trying to learn to speak with Fishbow Jr. here. Dang it, Fishbow Jr. That's the name of your adorable fish, and it's little... Ugh. <sighs> That's endearing. Bloop. <laughs> oh, here, maybe he would like a mandrake. A gift. Yum. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Fishbow Jr. seems like he's having a splashing good time. Yes, that was a pretty bad joke, but, um, well, I hope it wasn't an offensive joke. Ah, okay, he liked that pun. And then let's see what we can do here. So we can go ahead and get another cleanse from him. I think I'm going to do that because that is very useful for removing just the, like, eh sort of cards. And then we can get one for Appleseed that was... 18 damage oh my gosh avalanche plus oh my word and there's also one called turn it up for cb turn it up plus so it's an upgraded version of the card that would allow them to triple their charge oh these are these are pretty nice wattage deal 10 electric damage to all enemies and draw two cards that's not super helpful to us just yet because we don't have a lot of cards that allow us to play them with zero energy yet. Um, I think we're going to have an angry apple. We are going to continue to endeavor to have a very angry apple and allow apple seed that card and we're going to grab the cleanse meta like medallion while we're here. Thank you, magic man. I will be careful out there. Oh, also, what? Okay, this is not my imagination, right? This fluff fox is bigger than normal. <gasps> He's a boss? It wasn't my imagination. Here I wanted to go ahead and try to catch him. I don't think that's happening, but we can go ahead and prove with little Taro here that, uh, let's see, that we are going to have what it takes to be able to keep Taro alive because thus far we haven't managed. Also CB, let's build up your charge. I wish you could catch the bosses because that would be so cool to be able to have a giant one of the fluff fox. Oh, he just looks so neat. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to want to go ahead and let's see. Focus all turn. Zero, deal six earth damage. Okay, we could do flip switch. Deal electric damage three times. Better than nothing. We'll take it. Oh, and um, let's see. We'll deal electric damage while CB's charge is up. And then, hang in there, Taro! I have no idea why you're the one who, like, everyone's fighting. Maybe I can figure out if there's some sort of way I can rearrange you. Maybe it's by speed. 
Never mind, Taro is slower than CB, so that clearly wasn't it. Uh, oh, melt, CB, melt that armor, yes. Okay, and then we could do Thunder Wave, deal eight electric damage and remove two armor. Go for it, CB. Ah, <sighs> okay, and then we can, oh, we can do a little bit more of that electric damage. Darn, I really, really, really hope, oh my gosh, my baby guinea pig's going up his ramp, hang on. That was the first time he went up his little ramp after the lettuce. And of course he did it when I turned my head. That's hilarious. That's just absolutely hilarious. Okay. Um, gosh. I'm going to see if he does it again. So if I suddenly stop talking, it's because I grabbed my phone and tried to very cautiously turn and, and just like take a picture of my baby guinea pig. So sorry if that's distracting, but come on, Clover's like the best. Of course he's distracting. Hey, love box. None of that now. None of that now. Let's go ahead and battle him again. Okay, let's see. And then now we've just got some tackles. I wonder, can you upgrade Bash? It's not the most useful cards to spend a medallion on, but it could be quite, um, let's see. Target's armored by two. Let's do that. And then we'll bash again. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Discard one card, draw two. We're not retreating from this battle. Why are both of those bash? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, wow. Apple seeds avalanche. I just noticed carries over from like moment to moment. Oh, I wish you could tame this guy. It would just be so much fun. All right, let's see. Wait, can I pick a card to like keep? Because that would be kind of amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Oh man, he he got his little he got his little armor back on. Um, premonition. Draw until you have six cards in your hand. Open mind. Gain one energy. Ooh, ooh. Now we have four energy. I like that. We'll charge up CB. We'll follow through. Uh, premonition is not quite helpful, but thank you, Taro. Um, maybe we'll find something else with your skill. Uh, not really, but okay. At least we're learning how to use your cards. How is he down to just eight? Come on. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let Appleseed handle that. Our angry apple wins again. And I will always remember that one fluff fox because it was the moment that my little clover went up his ramp for the first time and I wish I had gotten it, but I just turned around and saw him out of the corner of my eye and he stared at me with the lettuce chomped in his mouth and then cheesed it because he's so cute. Oh, all right. Well, all of that done. We have indeed fought the boss now of this little island and it looks like there's another island up ahead. So let's actually head up there and discover new lands. New adventures. Oh, this one's gonna be a water island. Ooh, lily pads. And once again, try to do what we can to continue to integrate ourselves into the community. Helping people this time around to find spirit companions of their own and also trying to manage the resources on these various islands. I'm sure it's not a bad thing that we're just like clearing all of them. All of the plants, right? I'm trying to be a little bit sparing. I'm gonna be very happy when they regrow. Also, there's that multi-eyed tongue dude again. And other sentences that you don't really expect yourself to ever say. But hopefully we'll gather up enough of the wood. And then I wonder if I should just like island hop for a little bit. So that we have an idea of what the layout of everything is. <gasps> it's the fishbow! Come to me, fishbow! Yes. Oh, that's actually more than I was expecting. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Oh my gosh, apple seed. Why are you the best? De earthquake upgrade. Deal six earth damage and remove two armor from all enemies. I will take that. Uh. Wow. That was amazing. I will very much take that. Uh, and then I guess we can go ahead, CB. Would you like to go and... Okay. Well then. It seems, or sea beams, 
<laughs> that we are indeed really starting to find our footing. Um, even if poor little Taro is having a bit of a struggle. I wonder if I can go ahead, deal 10 electric damage. And then after we kind of bop these guys a little bit, sorry, sorry little guys, maybe we'll be able to go ahead and feed them because fishbow would be a new type of spirit. Well, not only that, but also they're ridiculously adorable and I like them a lot. But that would also be a new type of spirit that we could go ahead and have in our spirit barn, potentially providing us with some useful resources. All right, let's see if they like our little flax seeds. Or I guess they're flax flowers. Taro, hang in there. Oh my word. Okay, Taro, you get first attention. <gasps> what was that? Fish food? Whenever you feed a spirit in combat, this spirit gains... Oh. Oh. That works on enemies too? Oh man. Okay, that's... That's... Here, if you like food, what do you think, little buddy? Come eat my, my flax. I can't believe that I don't have enough tame. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to work on that. Ah. All right, well, let's see. Now I'm going to need to go ahead. Thunder wave. Uh, damage. Arm. Ooh, reduce armor to one. Yes, please. And then we're gonna go ahead. And why not go ahead and just do a little brawl? Just to let everybody know that we mean serious business. Or, well, you know, because my name's Siri. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Oh, you guys aren't being very nice. I, I think you should either go ahead and join us now, or maybe we need to like talk about this another time because this is, this is a little much, just saying. And then let's see. Okay, come on. <gasps> we got him! Yes, at least one little fishbow. Oh my gosh, and beca because we fed fishbow. The taming thing. It counted so the other one regained his hit points. Oh boy. Ah. Oh dear. Well, you know what? We have one fishbow. And I guess we can go ahead and see if this one wants to join us. <laughs> and then we, I guess things will begin smelling fishy. Yes, I, I did go there. All right, you. This is your last chance. Mostly because I am almost out. Oh my gosh, he is regaining all his hit points. <gasps> I need to go and breed myself some better flowers. Okay, okay. If we manage to go ahead and tame this guy, I'm gonna name him Beta after the fighting Beta fish because that was ridiculous. <laughs> He completely destroyed our team, and I'm pretty sure that we were a lot stronger than him. Maybe that's an important life lesson for me to, like, reflect on. <sighs> but all right, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some of the wood that is on this little island. And then we will see if we can discover anything else that might happen to be quite interesting. Or if my baby guinea pig will go back up his little ramp. If you will, I will do my best. I will endeavor to get some pictures because he's so cute and I love him. And I really need a lot more flax, don't I? Oh, what's this? <gasps> it was just like a little treasure bag on the ground. That's so cool. Oh, and look at that convenient little location to gather up some of the flax. Okay. Wow, the adventures don't really slow down here, do they? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.